Stony 1.0 is a robot that operates inside a gallery hall. The robot moves around a real double-sized headstone. During the day, it wanders around, cleaning, placing a stone, then a red rose on the headstone. Stony is made out of three main computational units and a few other electronic components, a platform on top of which other hardware is assembled. The chief microprocessors are a controlling Arduino Mega 1280, located on the second level running custom handcrafted firmware. Second is a dedicated kinetic microcontroller, also Arduino based, used to control the robotic arm and is located on the top level just beside it. And lastly, the movement microcontroller, located on the floor level inside the movement module. Stony's movement capabilities are based on a standard iRobot Roomba. These include bump sensors, infrared sensors, and proximity sensors. Controlling the Roomba is done via a serial connection which is made with the controlling Arduino. Same applies for the communication between the Arduino and the robotic arm. The difference between the two is that while the arm only receives messages telling it where to move, the Roomba also reports back various sensor data to the master Arduino, data which helps the robot avoid crashing into obstacles. Stony cannot see, it has no computer vision, therefore it uses precise pre-programmed location markers to reach any of the objects it uses while maintaining the tombstone. That is the reason for the special holes in which the stones are placed, as well as the flowers placeholders. Stony 1.0 places both a stone and a flower on the headstone. The placing of the stone is a Jewish mourning custom. It signifies the visitor's intention of returning. Stony does exactly that and more. It places the stones repeatedly, one after the other, as if signing the dead, I am not going anywhere, I am here to take care of you. Stony then cleans the headstone using water and a dishcloth. Stony takes care of the headstone, but it's an artificial care and the cleaning is symbolic and deliberately non-efficient. As a completion to the ritual, after the stone that says, I'll come back, and the cloth that says, I'm still taking care of you, the rose appears as if to say, I will not forget you, and I want to give you beauty as well. Just as the Romans used to groom graves in order to give the dead a beautiful garden to walk through as they make their way to the other world. This project was inspired by the vast differences between our love and the loss we feel for our dead and the physical state of their graves. It was also inspired by technology's place in a world that is so human and so filled with human emotion. It is also a critic about the direction this world is heading. It might not be long before time comes when we will just sit at home and a robot will clean and place stones on our most loved ones' graves. <laughs>